Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're gonna go over if you have $1,000, what companies should you invest into to hold on to for an entire lifetime? I got around seven companies that we're gonna go over today and a couple of bonus companies that I'm interested to adding to my own portfolio. So I'm gonna give you guys seven solid stocks that you can hold inside of your portfolio for the, for the rest of your life, guys, to set you up for the possibility of amazing gains now i do own a couple of these stocks inside of my portfolio i'm gonna let you know which ones and then i'm also gonna let you know which ones that i'm looking to add to my portfolios so i'm gonna try to be as completely as transparent as i can now these are amazing stocks so pull out your pen pull out your paper pull out your pencils pull out anything that you need to write down some notes to take this information in so that you can apply it to your portfolio yourself but before we dive into this video i would like to thank today's sponsor Weeble. Right now, if you click the link down in the description, you can sign up and receive two free stocks. You will receive one free stock just from signing up. And right now, August, if you deposit $5, you can receive your second free stock valued up to $2,000. So that's two free stocks. Now, a couple of things I like about Weeble is that once you sign up, you will receive zero commission trading. You can invest into stocks, cryptos, ETFs, option trading, and probably one of the most important ones for small accounts is fractional shares. Fractional shares allows you to buy a small piece of a full share. So if you wanted to grab a piece of a very expensive stock and you only have $5, you could purchase $5 worth of that stock with fractional shares. Weeble has user-friendly charts and in-depth market data. You can use advanced charting tools on multiple devices like your computer or your phone. And one thing Weeble allows you to do is that you can use the extended hours starting all the way from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can also link up with other traders and find out great ideas inside of their trading community function within the app. So don't forget to sign up for Weeble by clicking the link down in the description, sign up, get a free stock, make a deposit of $5 and get your second free stock valued up to $2,000. And once again, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Weeble. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, Dreamers. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and dive straight into this list. The first stock on this list that I think you guys should hold for a lifetime is Amazon. That's right. The tech giant, the technology giant Amazon started off as just a book company and look at them what they is today they have produced the richest man on earth that's able to fly to the moon now ever since the pandemic if a pandemic could not take this company down in fact right before the pandemic amazon was at around eighteen hundred dollars and that's when i picked up my first full share of amazon it took me a while of doing some fractional share buying of amazon but i finally got eighteen hundred dollars and i picked up a full share of amazon and right when the pandemic happened, it did not crush this company at all, like many other companies. In fact, it shot all the way up to $3,288 at the time of the recording of this video. Now, if a pandemic cannot take down this company, in fact, make this company even stronger, then this is looking like a company that I'm planning to hold inside of my portfolio for a lifetime. Now, the only thing that could probably take down this company as big as it is, is that the government might see them as a too powerful of a company and they might start breaking down some of their power, dividing up the company uh, even further so that they can't control the world. Now, if you're looking for another tech um, marketing giant, that company would be Google. So this is a little extra one for you guys still on the list of number one. Google is is with their AdSense and their ads and their campaign. In fact, Google owns YouTube. Hey, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. That is how I get paid, It's through Google because Google owns YouTube. Now there are the ad giants, they make Facebook look like nothing. I mean, I know Facebook is pretty good at advertisement, but Google is the number one. They're the, um, the giant for a reason, guys. So if you're up in the air and you're in between, Amazon might be too expensive, but Google is also a choice. Those two is kind of my tie for number one will be Amazon and Google. Now moving on to stock number two. Stock number two is a big brain idea guys you know when we come up with these big brain ideas we're thinking outside of the box 
in ways that other people usually do not think about. But I know you subscribers are used to these big brain ideas, but there are a lot of new people to this channel. If you're still new to this channel, hit that subscribe button so you can get these big brain ideas to help you start to think outside the box on your own. Now, stock number two is Tencent Holdings. Yes, that's right. The gaming company, well, the gaming investing company got to do with a lot of mobile and then they invested to a lot of other apps. But the reason I'm big on Tencent Holdings is because of Epic Games. That's right, guys, Epic Games. When you hear Epic Games, you hear Fortnite. Fortnite has brought in the, the most gross income for tournaments, prize rewards. In fact, they started their own leagues and people are starting to go to college off a of scholarship and join college video games just off of Fortnite. That, that is the biggest and baddest game over the last couple of years and they have made billions of dollars, guys. Now, the reason that, hey, What's so special about Epic Gaming and Fortnite? I'm not going to invest into just one game. A game is not going to be popular for 10, 20, 30 years. A game is going to fade. Why would I hold this inside my portfolio for life? Well, Epic Games don't just make games, guys. They actually make the technology behind Unreal Engine. Now, if you have no idea what um, Unreal Engine is, let me explain to you guys. So Epic Games, they develop Unreal Engine. Right now, they're on Unreal Engine 5, and it, it costs a ton of money to develop a game engine. Now, when you're playing, now every video game is made off of specific game engines, and there are really just two big game engines out there, and Epic Games with Unreal Engine is the top dog. So I want to say around six out of every 10 games is made off the Unreal Engine and then Epic Games get a kickback from that each time these games are being produced. Now here's the biggest brain idea I came up with with the Epic Engine. So I know you guys have watched all the Star Wars, the Mandalorian, how that was shot on the screen. Well, they are using the Unreal Engine. That's right. That's right. Disney Plus is actually using the Unreal Engine 5 to shoot on those screens to record in the background because they're not building these huge sets. They're using digital graphics, CGI on the green screen, on the blue screen, on TVs, and what they build the world in is in the Unreal 5 engine. So anytime you're watching the Mandalorian, the Star Wars franchise, and a lot of other franchise, those, those are built off the Unreal engine. And that is gonna, hey, that's gonna be circling around for a very long time now, especially that Disney used them and they're planning on making all of these films on them. So they're gonna have a reoccurring customer for at least the next 25 years, guys. Now, now, I know you're wondering, why don't I just invest into Epic Games? Well, Epic Games is not public. In fact, Tim Sweeney, he owns 60% of Epic Games because that's his company. So he owns 60% of the um, Unreal Engine 5. And Tencent Holdings hold the other 40% of Epic Games. So if you wanted to invest into the Unreal Engine, you're very interested in the Mandalorian or all the other Star Wars franchises, or you love playing video games, and you want to pick up some shares of Unreal Engine or Epic games or Fortnite, the only way that we could probably pick up a piece of that pie is to invest into 10 cent holdings. So that is, hey, that's big brain play number two, guys. So let's go ahead and move on to stock number three. Okay, so stock number three is probably the safest way inside of this portfolio, and that's ticker symbol SPY. Um, it tracks the S&P 500, the top 500 companies inside the United States, and have them inside one portfolio. Right now, SPY have over 507 different companies inside of their um, inside of their portfolio, inside the S&P 500. In fact, I think they just added Tesla inside of their portfolio. I think that might have been the, la the latest company to be added to the portfolio. So the S&P 500 just basically tracks the top 500 companies inside of America. It is an ETF. So just by buying one share of that, it's like owning a share of the top 507 different companies inside of America, guys. So if you want to play it safe and just track how the market goes, you could invest into the S&P 500 ETF. So bam, there we go. That's going to bring us to stock number four. And this one right here is another big brain play idea. Let me explain it to you guys. This is the ARK Investment ETF, ARKK. It's ran by Kathy Woods. Now, this ETF is completely different from SPY ETF. Now, SPY ETF, they have to invest into those same 500 companies. Um, they can't buy anything outside of those same 500 companies, and they got to buy the same amount 
over and over and over and over and over and over again. So they can't really get rid of one company. Even if a company is doing horribly bad, they can't get rid of that company inside of their portfolio. They have to keep it inside of the portfolio because it's in the S&P 500. Now, ARK Investment is ran by Kathy Woods. She is an, uh, a trading guru. In fact, ARK Investment, A-R-K-K, is an active ETF. It's a different, the difference in between an ETF and an active ETF is that active ETFs, they buy and sell different stocks almost every day, right? In fact, she lets you know when she buys and selling these different stocks. Um, so if a company is, if she see an emerging company, she will invest a bunch into this emerging company that she believes in. She ride it all the way up. She'll sell it, wait for the price to pull back and get right back in. If a company is not performing how she thinks it will perform, she could get completely rid of that company inside her portfolio. Look for the best next upcoming stock. Buy that one. And she buys good quality stocks. She buys stocks in companies that no one even heard of before because she sees the future in it. And she's been able to outperform the S&P 500 for the last, ever since she started, guys. So let me pull up an example if you guys invest into the S&P 500. Uh, and if you're investing into an active ETF. Here we go, dreamers, on the back test portfolio. Let's say we started to invest into the S&P the S&P 500 SPY all the way back in, let's say the last couple of years, 2015. And we invested into ARK at the same time. We started off with $1,000 and we invested another $1,000 every single month into each of these companies. So we're going to do monthly right there, reinvest our dividends, display income, yes. And let's say we invested into the SPY, the S&P 500, and let's say we invest into VOO. That is another one that, that tracks the technology companies in America. And then we invest into ARKK, which is Kathy Woods Art Investment Fund. 100%, 100%, and 100%. Now, once we hit analyze, this is us starting off with $1,000 and investing $1,000 every single month into each of these companies. And there we go, guys. Uh, the SPY, if we start in 2015 and now in 2021, we'll have $152,000. Um, VRO, we'll have $153,000. And Kathy Woods and her ARC Investment Active ETF, we will have double the amount, guys. She has outperformed the S&P 500 by double. We will have $322,000. Just from starting off with $1,000 and investing $1,000 every single month into her active ETF. So if you guys are looking for a, a ETF that could blow it out of the park in the next 10, 20, 30 years that would outperform the S&P 500, look up any active ETF that Kathy Woods is, is involved in. She has ARKK, ARKW. She has a couple of ARK investment funds that, that change it up just a little bit. But any of them to me is pretty solid now moving on to number five this one i'm gonna give you guys three different choices and these are companies that pretty much own an entire sector that have over hundreds of different products you always want to invest into companies that have hundreds of different products that spread their this, they spread their net, they cast their net very wide so that they could bring in money from every different direction. The first company that I'm going to give you guys is Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson is a medical company. They own everything from band-aids to syringes to surgery knives. Pretty much everything inside the hospital is owned by Johnson & Johnson. They don't just make baby oil and they don't just make lotion. They make, they make a whole bunch of different medical grade uh, equipment. So if you guys want to know everything that Johnson & Johnson own, that list will make this video two hours hours long so I can't list everything. The second company that makes everything is ticker symbol MMM 3M. They own everything from duct tape to the N95 mask MM, to sticky notes. I know you guys know the sticky notes, the 3M sticky notes from regular tape to duct tape. 3M makes everything. They have over 200 different products. Once again, if I list everything that they make, this video will be two hours long. And the third one is Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG everything they own everything inside the grocery store on every aisle that you go down except for probably the food aisle from diapers to vicks vapor rub to day quill night quill they make everything guys now the great thing about all three of these companies is that they are dividend kings a, a dividend king is a company that's inside of the s p 500 and has increased their dividends every single year for the last 50 years now one you could pick any of these companies and you will be just fine now if you're looking to retire and hold this comp these companies inside of your portfolio 
for the rest of your life, you know that whether if this company shoots up high or this company start to pull back, they're going to continue to increase their dividends and you receive dividend payments while you retire for the rest of your life because good stable companies that continue to increase their dividends every single year, you know that you're going to be able to survive after you retire just from living off the dividends from these companies and all. Now here's a list of how long they've been increasing their dividends. Johnson & Johnson have been increasing their dividends for the last 50 eight years longer than a lot of us have even been alive um, 3m have been increasing their dividends for the last 62 years and procter and gamble has been increasing their dividends for the last 65 years now between those three companies those are all three solid choices pick one <laughs> but yeah they're all great companies guys so let's go ahead and move over to the next stock that we should hold on for life Okay, so we was just talking about dividends and getting paid for life. The next thing that we should look at is real estate REITs. Real estate REITs are companies that invest into real estate and they have to pay back at least 90% of their taxable income back to their investors in the form of dividends. So they usually have higher dividends than most other companies out there. Now I'm gonna give you two real estate REITs that pays out their dividends every single month, guys. So after you retire, you know that every single month you're gonna be receiving a nice dividend paycheck from these two companies. The first one is Stag. Stag makes single tenant industrial properties. They have a dividend um, percentage of 3.46% and they pay out every single month and they have been increasing their dividends for the last six years. Now Stag historically has been outperforming the second stock I'm gonna give you guys and that's ticker symbol O, Realty Income. Now Realty Income is monthly dividends are supported by the cash flow from over 6,500 real estate um, properties owned under long-term lease agreements with our commercial clients. So they have long-term lease agreements with a whole bunch of different companies. So they know that they're going to get payments out in the next couple of years. They're not looking at single tenant homes. They know for a fact that off the long-term lease agreements they signed with these different companies, that they're going to have cash coming in for at least the next couple of years. Now, to consumer, oh, they have a dividend score of 3.93%, which is higher than Stag and but they have been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 24 years guys so those are two solid real estate REITs that you guys could look into but in fact i'm gonna put up a screenshot right quick if you would have invested into stag let's just say in 2015 and invested into um, realty income in 2015 stag has outperformed um realty income by a long shot over the last couple of years guys so if you want to do a little bit more research on each of those yourself, those are both solid dividend companies that pay out every single month. And the last stock on this list, and by far the best stock on this list, is Apple. That's right, guys, the first company to have a trillion dollar market evaluation. If you would start investing into this company ever since the iPhone 4S, just a couple of hundred dollars every single week into this company, you will have over a hundred million dollars in Apple if you started all the way back in the year 2000, I believe, or somewhere around that price or somewhere around that point. Whenever the iPhone 4S that came out, I had did a video of it. If you want to see that video, click right here. That video will be right here. If you guys want to know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, Apple, if you own an Apple iPhone, got an Apple TV, an Apple Watch, AirPods, Beats by Dre's, anything like that then you should also own a couple of shares of apple inside your portfolio that have a small dividend payment but the way that apple has been increasing over the last couple of years apple has been around for so long but it's a company that continued to climb and outperform the uh s p 500 for the for for almost every single year guys apple is on a road to success especially if they come out with this Apple car and we're getting in now and they develop an Apple car or an Apple home or an Apple something in the future inside of their integrated platform, then you can see this company continue to rise over the next decade or the next century or so, guys. So Apple is another stock that you guys should have inside of your portfolio for the rest of your life. Okay, now that we're at the end of this video, I wanna thank our sponsors one more time, Webull. Make sure that you click the link down in the description. Get your two free stocks and you could keep them inside that platform and decide to use it. Or after you get your free stocks, you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw 
all of your money guys it's literally free money if you guys want to uh, sign up for weeble and just give it a try but let me know about this list guys is there any other company that you believe that should have been on this list let me know down in the comment section or let me know also if there's a company on this list that should not that should not be on this list let me know down in the comment section let me know what i missed if you made it to the end of this video please hit that thumbs up button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine guys and also hit that notification bell but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace